Lions TV, full time from the den. Kenny, missed it, Kenny. Didn't get right today, Ken. But I'll tell you one thing that you did get right. You said play Morrison just behind the strikers. I thought Morrison did it right when he came on. But before we get to that, mate, let's talk about the absolute arsehole tearing we got in the first half. <laughs> Three goals game over before before 30 minutes, really. Yeah, do you know what? My, my opinion on this is that we've just been taught how to play in the middle of the championship. Yeah. You know, I said, I said in the last one against AFC Wimbledon, let's find our level. And this is what we're starting to do now. I do not think we're good enough for the championship at this moment in time. And I'm not a negative, I'm not a negative outlook on, on the game. On our team, I love Millwall and I love our players, but we are just not good enough at the moment. What was your take on the three goals? Yeah, once, once again, it's, it's defensive mishaps um, for me. Um, Murray Wallace wasn't getting any help. Um, ben Marshall weren't seeming to track back. Um, when you've got two wingers on, on, on the right, hand, was, was it the right hand side? Yeah, right hand side. Yeah against Murray Wallace that have pace and they're sticking the ball over Murray Wallace, he's never going to win. He's never going to win. No. Um, and that was, our, that was our downside, really. He changed it at half-time. What would you have done before the game? Would you have started with the 4-5-1 or the 4-3-3, whatever the fuck it is, or would you have gone back to the old 4-4-2? I hate to say it, Tom Elliott, I, 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 he can't ever play for the club again after that. No. It was, he was horrendous. You know, the, the worst thing was is that the, the, the crowd was starting to applaud him when he'd done something wrong. Yeah, I know. You know, it, it all become a bit of a, bit of a farce. Bit of a farce. Um, I would have started with 4 5 one. Why not? Don't break something that's not broken. Um, or don't change something that isn't broken. Would I have stopped? Oh, I know you don't like Leonard, um, but for me, I would have had Leonard and I would have had either Thompson or Tunnicliffe in the middle. Um, sidewards is better than backwards. I'll tell you how much I don't rate Leonard. I think Tunnicliffe's better than Leonard. Yeah, I'll make you right. I'll make you right. But if we're going to have to go with Harris on that, if he's going to go with it, he's you've got to have someone with him. Because he's his record sign, he's going to stick with him. But listen, he can't be held accountable for all of it. Is it, again, we've had a lot of good times with the players in recent weeks. You know, Derby away, Everton at home, Wimbledon, we're in the quarterfinals. But is, can the players be held accountable? Is it all down to Harris? Or can the players be held accountable if they're going, I mean, we, they nearly scored two before they actually scored their first? Yeah, do you know what? I don't blame Harris for anything. I, you know, I think Harris is absolutely sublime. I think that we had 11 people out on the pitch in Millwall shirts, and I think we had one or two Millwall players out there on the pitch. Um, we well, need players not good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we're I'll not focused. Right. They didn't want the ball. You know, the amount of times the ball went over and they just looked to see someone else going to get it. We need to be crunching. We need to be going in. We need to let people know that they're at Millwall Football Club. And at the moment, they don't know. 